we're going to go over a quick example, and that is given that x squared equals 14, we want to know the value of 2x plus 2 quantity times 2x minus 2. So here we have a special case. And that is when we have these two written this way, we know that when we factor out, so when we do first, outside, inside, last, we're actually going to get the middle term canceling out. And you can see this really quickly if I do it because I get 4x squared minus 4x plus 4x and then minus 4. And these two are going to cancel out when I combine like terms because I have a positive 4x and a negative 4x. So what I'm going to get here is 4x squared minus 4. And I already know what x squared equals. It's equal to 14. So if I plug that in, I can evaluate the expression. So this one's 14 minus 4. And here I'm going to have that equaling 52. So my first step, because I was given it in a factored form, was to expand it so that I actually got something that I could deal with. I didn't have any x squareds originally at, in the way that it was written, but as soon as I expanded out, I could figure out how I was supposed to evaluate. And this is sort of the general way that you're going to want to solve these equations. So thank you for joining us on this video. And um, as always, thank you for watching educator.com.